Jeff Lynne is a noted English songwriter, singer, instrumentalist, and record producer. He developed an early passion for music, leaving school at the age of 15 to form his first band, Rockin' Hellcats. Thereafter, he moved to the band The Chads at the age of 17 and The Night Riders, later Idol Race, at the age of 19. At the age of 21, he released his first album with The Idol Race, producing another in the following year. But as they failed to succeed commercially he joined the British rock band The Move, releasing two albums under its moniker. At the age of 23, he co-founded Electric Light Orchestra, ELO, became its main songwriter and producer within a short span and released a number of hit albums under its banner. By the time ELO disbanded in 1986, he had become well known as songwriter and producer. He has spent his later years producing albums and writing songs for established singers, the Beatles anthology being one of his greatest works of this period. He also revived ELO and released number of albums. Jeff Lynn was born on December 30, 1947, in the Pipe Hayes area of Birmingham, England. His father, Philip Porter Lynn, was a foreman in the Rhodes Department at Birmingham Council. His mother, Nancy Lynn Nay Osborne, worked at ATV Television. He had one brother and two sisters. Music is in Jeff's blood. He developed an early interest in it, listening to his grandparents, who were performing musicians, inheriting his talent from them. His father, although a non-musician, was also a great lover of classical music. He could play classical tunes with one finger. Possibly in 1954, his parents took him to see The High and the Mighty, an American disaster film. Its music, scored by Dmitry Tiomkin, greatly impressed little Jeff, leading to a lifelong passion. When Jeff was nine years old, the family moved to a council house at 368 Shard End Crescent. He spent the rest of his youth here, talking in a brummy accent, attending Alderley Boys Secondary School and supporting Birmingham Foot Club. At the age of 13, he first heard Roy Orbison's Only the Lonely on the radio and fell in love with rock music, becoming his loyal fan. Eventually, he also developed a liking for Del Shannon, but initially failed to appreciate the Beatles. He found their song Love Me Do especially horrible. His opinion about the Beatles changed when he heard Please Please Me. Inspired by the song, he asked his father for a guitar. Eventually, his father got him one for two pounds and practicing day and night on it, he soon became an exceptionally good guitarist. His next inspiration came from a concert he attended. When he was still a school student, his father took him to a concert by Del Shannon at Birmingham Town Hall. He was so overwhelmed by it that he decided to...